In exercise 8C of getting to know ArcGIS Desktop for ArcGIS 9.3, we will be uh, looking at creating reports, um, starting with the map that we uh, used before, and the more specifically the selection of 11 houses, which you had at the end of exercise 8B. Now, uh, making a report is quite simple in uh, ArcGIS Desktop. Just go ahead and go to Tools and Reports, and then Create Report. And the Create Report tool box window should open, and you will make a few um, initial selections. Just takes a few seconds to open. Okay. The report, rep report properties window is open, and under Fields, make sure Neighborhood Parcels is the layer that you are creating a, a, uh, a report for. And now we, we have 11 houses, and we, and we know that they all have three bedrooms, but we want to know their addresses. So go ahead and click Addresses, and then the arrow to the right. We also want to know their sale price. Also works if you double click. Uh, the square footage and the number of bathrooms. So those are all things that we want to know in our report. Now that we've added into our report, let's go ahead and take a look of what the report looks like now. Go ahead and click Generate Report. And this is the report as it is now. Um, we could go ahead and click Print and print it as it is, but it doesn't look very good. Uh, it's very confusing. The ad address list is over two or sometimes three lines. The bathroom is, is hanging here in its column. It's very confusing. So we'll uh, change a few things to make it more, more legible, to be able to read it more easily. So go ahead and close the report viewer like I just did. And we'll go to the report, pro the report properties dialog box. Click the sorting tab. For example, we want to have the sale price. We want to have the report sorted by the sale price in ascending. So from the lowest at the top to the most expensive at the bottom. Another thing we would like to change is the display. Go ahead and just go to display and under fields click addresses and we see here that the width is 1. We want to change that to 3. Another thing we would like to change is the, the page style, page setup. That's under report. You'll see here page setup. Click on the three dots. Um, we want landscape and also the source. Uh, let's see, the size, that's what I meant, is a A4 format. Go ahead and click OK. And we can generate a report and see what we have now. Now, this is, this is much better. Um, it's uh, almost what we, how we want it to look like. But there are, as you can see, the sale price. The addresses are, are uh, in one column, not in a couple of rows. Uh, the sale price is from least expensive to most expensive. And then you have also the square foot and the bathrooms. It's all um, very easily to read. But we want to add a, a, a couple of things. We, for example, we want to have a title. To do that, go ahead and click on, uh, let's see, which tab is it in? Here we are. Under Display, Elements, click uh, Title to make uh, to give it a title, and we want to change the text of the title to something more descriptive. And as suggested in Step 16 of this exercise, we could call this Available Three Bedroom Houses. So, Available Three Bedroom Houses. Voila, just like that. And another thing we want to change is the font. 
we want to create our own font, so go ahead and click. I'll do that again. I'll do that quickly, too quickly. Select font. Click on the three dots, which opens a new dialog. We want Times New Roman. Excuse me. Bold and size 26. Okay, that should be uh, enough. Let's generate a report. Yeah, this is a nice report. Well, we can go ahead and print this out if we want. Do that is very simple. You just click on print. Uh, find the printer you want and click print. I won't for right now. Um, you won't probably want to save your report so that you can you can do it again uh, using the same same uh, title or a new selection. But uh, that's how you do that. If you're finished with this, uh, go ahead and save. Otherwise, move on to chapter 9.